Ladies and gentlemen, dear audience, those who come across this broadcast in public media. My name is Sergio Mestia Bresson, Juno being short. I am addressing the world by this statement, first as a humble servant of humanity, and secondly as a senior major commissioner and head of the International Police Forces Organization, service number 507403, a human being. Words have a meaning. Words can bring peace. Words can bring war. Words can also trigger an irrational response. Today, the 4th of September, 2023, addressing you all from planet Earth, I and all the law enforcement agents, police, peace, safety, emergency, and other officers which are standing with me, declare the International Police Forces, the IPF, as an independent state and sovereign. We are not a military force or a militia. We are not colonialists or conquerors. We are liberators and knights of humanity. The burden of responsibility nests on our shoulders. It is as heavy as the bag of sand. When we wear our uniforms and place our badge, it's sacred. We have a responsibility. We are not politicians. Our suit and tie is reserved for special occasions. We prefer weddings and birthdays, but we are also prepared for funerals. No child on this earth should ever ask his mother or father, why was I brought to this world? To suffer? No mother or father should bury their child, as no child should be left an orphan or without a mother or father. No child. Children belong to school and to enjoy a normal life in the park, not to live in fear in a bunker if they have such one or else to look above into the gray blue skies and hope that a bomb won't fall on them. Enough is enough. We refuse. We refuse to accept genocide and war crimes and child abduction and molestation and human traffic and other crimes against humanity to be a norm in this human society. We refuse to accept the value of the coin is more than the value of humanity and human lives. We refuse. Human lives matter, every single one of them. The lives of those who knock on a metal pipe with a nail and ask for help. The lives of those who aspire peace and security and solidarity between brothers and nations. For them we step forward. We are not politicians. We represent the law. The international law and treaties which are enforced today but sadly there is no one to enforce them, so they are left abandoned as orphans in a defunct orphanage house, alone in the corner, alone in the dark, alone when it's hot and alone when it's cold, stranded. We the servants of humanity and God Almighty say it clear. We say what others can't or refuse to say. Don't wait till the bells of doomsday ring, act as if they have already rang. In the name of the IPF government of police, we, the ministers and captains, take an oath to do what we can in accordance with our constitution, which embeds the values of democracy and human lives, the rule of law and the oversight of the International Seat of Justice, the Patriarch Court, the ISJPC, which supervises our actions. We won't allow our force to be used in any way to suppress human rights or the freedom of religion and journalism in overall, or to shatter democracy in overall. We won't allow our force to be used as a political pawn in any way. Having the force comes with the prayer to God Almighty to never have to use it. Having the force comes with the responsibility which we take upon ourselves. The responsibility which I take upon myself as the head of the IPF. For those of you who think, that all of this is done for the sake of look at me or any popularity contents. Point the cameras to the bombed villages and those in agony and pain. Point the cameras there. We don't need it. Today, the 4th of September, 2023, is the day we sentence ourselves as the command and commanders of the IPF to life sentence in death row. Today is the day we step forward and into places which others run away from. We have no choice. If we don't do it, then whom? May history remember the officers which stepped forward, those who gave it all. 
those whom are not with us anymore. May the crimes against humanity and life on earth stop, as they are already beyond one chapter in modern history. This must end. We must end it. So help us God. Amen.